Hello, in this video, I'm going to help you insert screenshots or photos in Keynote for the iPad. So there's a few ways to do it. And what I'll actually do first is let's come right here and you can touch the image button. And from there, you can choose photo or video and that will give you the option to choose from your recent photos. And you, of course, you can choose different from different folders, etc. If you're using a template or if you created if you created a template, you'll have this plus button as well. So I'm going to touch a plus button and very similar in a similar situation, you can take a photo if you want to take a photo of something and that'll open the camera. But what I want to do is I want to choose a photo or video. So I'll do that right now. And let's pretend, let's not pretend, let's actually do it. I want to increase, I want to include this photo of me cycling with friends up the Gold Coast just the other day. At this point, I can do several formatting things, but I won't show you those now. And the next thing that I wanna do is to help you with inserting screenshots. So to do a screenshot on the Mac, depending on your version, but the more recent ones, I'll go to Safari, and I wanna take a screenshot here. On most of these, there is two buttons that you can choose, touch at the same time. And this is going to go down into your photos. So what I'm going to do, photo, Apple Photos. So I'm gonna go back to Keynote. And then there's a few ways to do it. I guess I could apply what I did before. I'll go to the photo icon, the image icon. I'm gonna choose photos or videos. And then right here, I can see what I just selected. So I'll select that. It's going to be quite large. So then I, this is where I can do some formatting. I can drag this down by choosing, I chose the blue circle over here. I believe I can touch two times and I can do a little bit of cropping if I wished. I won't get too crazy on this during a tutorial, um, but I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And of course I could touch the paintbrush and do different things um, here. So I encourage you to explore, explore around and one more thing, this is my best friend here when I'm using an iPad, is the undo button. So I can touch the undo button if I wish as well. So that those are the steps to get you started for inserting screenshots or photos in Keynote for the iPad. I hope this helps. Let me know if 